I hurt. Let's just take a moment so I can show you how bad I painted my nails just so I can show you this. Video. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Hey everyone, it's Brooke, and today I'm doing like a nail video ish, I guess. Um, nail hacks, nail polish hacks. No polish DIYs. I don't know what to call this video. Anyway, I'm doing a couple life hacks DIYs. I don't know what it is, but a couple something with nails. And let's just get into the video. Okay, so I'm just taking an old sprinkles container, a bunch of cotton balls, and some nail polish remover. And I got the nail polish remover from the dollar store and the sprinkles container from my mom's from the kitchen and so all you're gonna do is take the cotton balls and put a uh, nail polish remover on each one and just stick it into the sprinkles container until it fills up all the way to the top and you're gonna want to make sure you leave room for like each finger to go into it once you're done just shake it up and you're good that random piece of cotton ball on my finger Anyway, now that it's done, you're just going to stick your finger into the thing, whatever, sprinkles container, and then the nail polish just comes right off. And I did that to each finger to get it off. Okay, so this next nail hack that, nail hack something, whatever, you want to call it, nail hack, yeah. Um, the pretty much main thing that you're going to need is Elmer's glue. And just take the Elmer's glue and put it all around your nail on the skin. And wait till it dries. You could also use a Q-tip to rub it in. Since I just put the glue on my nail, um, I'm going to show you the next hack real quick. What you can do for a really cute design is just take some nail polish. I'm using a dark nail polish just to show you. And you're just going to take get a makeup... I got this from the, the dollar store. And they're just like little makeup sponges, but I also use them for nail polish. And you can, I'm just putting it on the bottom of the, whatever it's called, sponge. So now I'm just, my nail looks really gross right now, but I'm just stabbing the sponge onto my thumb with the dark nail polish. And the dark nail polish didn't work very well, so I did it again. I'll show you it right after this. They look really bad right now, but let's just peel them off now. Okay, so let me show you. Sorry if you hear that phone going, going off. But, um, so, um, you have to, like, put a lot of glue, like, right here so it doesn't, like, then it doesn't go through. So this was my first one. Like, it was kind of a fail. Like, as you can see, there's, like, nail polish on the side. My second one just doesn't look good, but it worked. And then my third one looks actually really cute. It doesn't look cute in the camera, but it is, and it all came off which was good. You're going to need some type of tape. Um, I usually use clear tape but I didn't have any of that so I have to use like small duct tape but let's see if it will work. Okay so now I'm just gonna take the small duct tape and make it into a V shape on my thumb and you want to make sure that it's pressed down pretty well so the nail polish doesn't bleed through. This was my first time using duct tape, and I realized that it worked a lot better. Once I'm done with that, now I'm just going to paint the little triangle on top. Now I'm going to take the tape off. Nice and easy. Here's one. And there's... Ow. Ow. Two. So far, so good. Okay, so I'm done now. Before, and that's what it looks like. And so, I you usually should paint like the 
the white first before like the pink and then like once the white dries and stuff then you put the tape on then do the pink or whatever color but i was too lazy and impatient to wait so i just did it after and it actually looks super cute and i, and I just got this from target for like two dollars so Okay, so I know I'm outside, it's really horrible, like, setup and lighting and everything, but uh, it's spilling everywhere. I got ice water, and if you can see, um, my nails are still wet. Um, yeah, they're still wet, because I just painted these ones and I just did that one. And you stick them in the ice water for 30 seconds and take them out, 30 seconds and take them out. Three times, three times, and then they're dry. So I did it for 30 seconds, three times, and that didn't really, like, these two are dry. So I'm going to do it for 30 more seconds and just see what happens. Oh, my fingers are freezing cold, but it worked now, so. They're both dry, all three of them. I am locked out on the porch. The door locked behind me. And I'm stuck out here and my dad won't answer his phone. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hold on. Six and a half hours later. Okay. I just got inside and it's really, really hot outside. I'm still sweating. Um, <laughs> so I got locked out. Um, I don't know how. I guess the door just got locked. And my dad, his phone was, um, d he didn't answer his phone. I don't know why he didn't. But then he said that he was, like, thought it was, like, the door. And then he thought it was, like, ding dong ditching or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I'm so sweaty. And, yeah. So, I think that's just how I'm going to end this video. And, yeah. So, the ice one that I just did, um... Last time I did it, it worked for my mom, but not for me, because I'm just not patient. I'm very, I'm a very impatient person, so I don't, like, wait for these things, but I actually waited the whole time, and then I got locked out, so, yeah. But anyway, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Did you like the video? If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe right there, and check out my last video right there. And... I want you to tell me down below if you've ever been locked out of the house on purpose or an accident. And if you have any questions with these nail hacks, then just comment down below and I'll respond to them. Bye!